Yo, so welcome uh, back to my channel. Been a little while since I uploaded a video for you guys, but um, been doing a load of uh, shorts and stuff, and a lot of the questions have been about my bike, asking for a build breakdown. So I figured, why not do it on today? Um, and yeah, give you guys a little insight on what's happened to my bike, um, who built it, what sort of parts have been added, and sort of just the quality of it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, pretty much right off the bat, this bike was built by Limitless Customs. I bought the bike back in 2019. Uh, it's a street bob, um, and I sent it straight away um, to Limitless Customs and just had them do their, their package, um, which consisted of pretty much fully changing the whole bike. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys a, a quick run through on what, what I had them do. Obviously the biggest change uh, that you'll be able to notice is the tank. I had them take the tank from the 883 um, and chuck it on. Yeah, it's a bit shit on gas, uh, but I think the the looks that it gives the bike obviously changes the whole the whole dynamic um, and makes it look unique as well. Uh, but everyone in the comments is always, ah, oh, bro, that ain't a soft tail, that ain't a street bob, that's a that's a 883 or a 48. My cousin, it's a, it's definitely a street bob, definitely a soft tail. Um, just with the tank. Um, so got the bars, um, 10 inch Codlin Bonanza fat bars. Um, perfect for me. I mean, I'm 6'2", and um, I struggle with back problems, but obviously sitting on the bike, they're nice and shoulder height. I sort of wanted that. I didn't want any drag bars where I'm having to lean forward, especially with the forward controls. Um, so perfect height for me. Just keep me in that, uh, that nice relaxed position, I guess. Um, the grips, they are Arlen Ness uh, grips, not that they really matter, grips are grips. Um, not too sure about the mirrors actually, but obviously had them flipped um, from being up here, flipped underneath. Um, I find when they're, when they're up top, I can't see past my shoulders. And I guess that's not just me, that's, I guess that's everybody. Um, so they're quite handy there, can actually see, see out them. Um, but also I guess, the Limitless Custom guys, they have a whole load of parts. I'm pretty sure they make them themselves. If not, they're definitely made for them. So the rear fender um, from Limitless Customs and also the front shorty fender, uh, the seat, got that custom made and uh, wrapped in a nice Alcantara diamond stitched. Um, and honestly, all the, the bits that I had them do like that, they done amazingly well. Um, the tank, the tank swap obviously is not built for this bike, but it's not, it wasn't finished the best, you know, like I can lift it up and down. It's literally only bolted in up there, which is, hey, I don't really mind, but if you're nitpicking, there's the little bits that you probably wouldn't see. Um, I guess moving on from that. When I originally had this bike first built, um, it was only a stage one, so they obviously you got your air filter and your uh, and your exhaust. The air filter is Screaming Eagle, uh, heavy breather kit. I've just seen better days, so I'm thinking, need you guys to help me out. Do I keep or do I just buy a new air filter, the heavy breathers, or do I go the Arlen Ness? Um, I think it's like the 65 degree velocity or something. Pretty cool, comes out on angle, big cone, uh, cone filter looks pretty gangster, but I don't know if it'll suit my bike. Um, and then the Bassani uh, radial sweepers. And in my opinion, when I went and seen um, the guys at Limitless Customs, they asked me if I wanted their drag, um, their drag exhaust. And at the time, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm keen as for that, keen as just because I wanted the sound. Like the sound to me is probably the most important thing. It's the reason I bought a Harley Davidson. Um, purely for sound, obviously they're not the fastest bikes, um, but they definitely beat everything else in sound. So I was keen on that and then he said, um, I could get the same sound out of these with a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more torque, just uh, because a bit of, it's got a bit more back pressure in it. Um, so I ended up going with this, do not regret it one bit. Um, to me, the, it's one of the best sounding bikes I've, I've been around. Um, Probably not quite as loud as the as the drag um, drag pipes, but you know you sacrifice a little bit of uh, sound for for the horsepower. Um, so yeah, 
definitely 100% would recommend if you're looking at building a bike like this. Um, Basani do amazing products. Um, what else? I had them put on the forward controls. So first off, I went for normal forward controls and I felt like I was still hunched up a little bit. Um, again, I'm 6'2", and I feel like the normal forwards were probably just there a little bit. So, you know, still not in the most comfortable position. So I had them extended. I think they were about two and a half to three inches more extended. Um, and honestly, could probably do with a little bit more, but for the for the time being, they're perfect. Um, I still hit the hit my leg on on the uh, air filter, but I mean, I can still brake and everything. It's all good. Could do with the brake pedal being extended a little bit um, out to the side. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else we've uh, we've had done at the minute. It is stage two. Um, I thought that I'd ask for the power cam, but. Stupidly, I think I went with the torque cam. But yeah, I went for the, the torque cam, and I think in hindsight that was a mistake. I would definitely recommend going for the power cam. These bikes, just out of the factory, have a, more than enough torque um, that, than you'll need. Um, so yeah, probably get that changed at, at some point. But uh, if, I, I guess for me, this build it was it wasn't built in a hurry. I didn't have my license at the time, so I was going through the process of, um, of getting my license. So I just sort of sent it off and said, hey, look, I'm going to have my license done in sort of two weeks. I want it done. Ended up taking about three months, but um, yeah, that's another story. Um, so I didn't really care what, what was done to it. I just sent it off and say, hey, look, make me a cool bike. Um, as soon as I get my license, I want to be riding. And to a certain degree, that's what happened. Um, obviously, the bike is sitting pretty low, um, thanks to Legends Air Suspension. Um, pretty standard on, on the Limitless Customs bikes. They love their air suspension, and I love the way they sit. Obviously, sacked out like this, it's an amazing looking bike. For all my TikToks and, and everything that I shoot, like uh, my shorts and stuff, it's always sacked out, and it makes it look fucking awesome, in my opinion. Yeah, so like I was saying, definitely, Makes the bike look uh, bloody amazing when it's sacked out. And the ride actually isn't too bad. Like I said, I sent this bike off straight away as soon as I bought it, so I didn't even ride it stock. Um, but from riding stock bikes and everything, you know, this. Chill, my bro. From riding stock bikes and stuff, this rides amazingly compared to them. Um, and I'd 100% recommend it as well. Although there are a few problems with it. Um, my first problem I ran into the air. I don't think it was the actual airbag, I think it was the line was leaking, so every time I was riding, I was losing pressure in it, it was lowering, so I just had to keep pumping it up. It sort of pissed me off um, how much I was having to air it up. So anyway, that happened. I've had the bike four years, same air suspension on it for four years. Um, and then about two months ago, my air compressor actually packed it in and um, I had to replace that, which was quite expensive. It was about 500 bucks to, to get it done. Yeah, don't touch it, okay? I do not want to touch the button, okay? Okay. Chill. <laughs> Alright. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm just asking you not to touch the buttons. Okay. Oh. But like, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Open. But like I said, anyway, 500 bucks to fix the compressor. Um, pretty expensive if something does go wrong. So, yeah, depends what you want, depends what you want. Uh, they are relatively reliable, but when they do break, it is very expensive to fix. Um, what have we spoke about? We spoke about that. Oh, I had the, uh, the rear wheels. I always get asked about this as well. How fat are my wheels? Uh, you obviously can't see them from this angle, but 200 mil tire on the back and um, powder coated yeah, wheels. Is it powder coated tire? Is it, is it tires gone, isn't it? Yeah, these help you stay on the road, bro. Yeah. Yeah, of course you can, bro. But yeah, so 200 mil rear tire on a stock rim as well. Um, a lot of people ask me what rim I take and and everything. Um, but yeah, 200 on a stock. All right, bro. Sweet ass. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> 200 mil tire on a stock uh, stock rim. You can do it. You don't need to change anything. No swing arm mods, but it is the largest that you can go 
um, without having to adjust swing arms and belts and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Avon tire, Avon tire in the front, been more than more than happy with them. I've always seen people uh, complaining about the stock tires that come on the bikes, um, but I've had no complaints, no slips on this, no crashes, no dropping. Touch wood, um, they've been pretty mean for me. Um, my one complaint about this bike is probably the brakes, actually. The brakes are pretty terrible. My rear brakes barely even work and they're stock. Uh, the front hey, ones, hey. they are, these they're all right. Are cool, aren't they? Hey? Look, these. Yeah, those are your brakes, bro. They're pretty rubbish, though. Why? Because I'm just telling everyone they, they don't really work. We need to change them. Yeah, we need to read them and change them. Yeah, that's so my bro. And we need to change the wheels, too, eh? Why? What's wrong with the wheels? That's why this yeah. is called dirt. <laughs> and make it dirty. Yeah, my whole bike's dirty, eh? So, anyway, that's a quick uh, wrap up of my bike, what I've had done to it and everything. Um, I've probably forgotten a load of bits, so I'll link it down in the description. But, nah, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, drop a sub. Um, really helped me out, really appreciate it. I'll try and make a, a load more videos of the bike. Um, something that I've been wanting to do for a little while, but need to build up the courage and find the time so yeah hope you guys enjoyed check us turbo 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 i just i just find it <laughs> get off my bike and fart it stinker um.